All right, my mouse is not working properly still. You just ain't that just a Kingmaker? The Kingmaker going to Duali, a blessed realm wrecker. <clears throat> Don't be like that. There's a will, where there's a will, there's a way. He lost his marbles, which means we can't keep a lid on all that power. Well, Mr. Power, you can't keep a lid on? That's right, it comes flying out of you. This is where it comes flying out of her, exactly the right places to wallop. <clears throat> Alright. This is gonna let us spot the special nothing. spots. Realm workers are kingmakers that have lost control of their enormous power and run wild as a result. This power escapes from them in bright glowing bursts. Points which is, this energy escapes are particularly vulnerable to attack. Focus your assault on them and you'll deal a lot more damage. Kingmakers. Kingmakers are mysterious entities that absorb the power of the Kingmakers, giving them the ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them gather together. If they're, they're born from items to which the Kingmaker has instilled its power, if you smash up anything Kingmaker creates, you might just find some. When enough has appeared, a gold circle around them appears, they beckon you to over them to... Okay. So I gotta hit these. Counting on you. I leveled up too. Owned. Very good. This here's this here's the square, ain't it? Woo, we're back. I suppose that means Longfang really has calmed down for now, at least. Guess we better tie up some loose ends, huh? <clears throat> I have done the unforgivable. My desire to lift my kingdom out of poverty became an all-consuming greed, and that weakness made me vulnerable, and he exploited it. All you guys is this game could be harder. It seems to me the main story of this game is easy. If you go out and explore, you're not rushing through it. I've been exploring. But it seems like the challenges, like the, the corrupted enemies are actually challenging. So that if you want a challenge, you can get it. But if you just want to cruise through the story, you can. It seems like that's what they were going for. <clears throat> who was he? The one who stole your king's bond. He came to me some months ago. He promised secret knowledge, knowledge of ways in which our nation might be made yet greater. In return, he sought high office. It was he who suggested that the dice be manipulated and he gave me the means by which it might be done. When did I fall under his spell and how? How could I have allowed such a thing to happen? 
Well, we managed to calm your kingmaker down, but without your king's bond, you uh, will things be okay? You have brought us bought us a little time. He will sleep a while yet. <clears throat> In time, he will reawaken, and in the absence of the bond, he will seek to destroy our kingdom once again. Why, curses Scaly Pate? Ain't there a lot of a jot or rhyme or reason to such wanton savagery? Not now. Master Pugnacious, for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your bond, will you help us? Forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself properly. I am Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Tildrum. I have formed a pact with the Kingmaker of the Cradle of Light and meant to found a new nation in the Heartlands. Will you stand with me? So that is what I sensed in you. It was plain to me for the first time that you were no ordinary child. But what is it that you propose? I want to protect our world. I want to make sure that nobody else has to lose what's most important to them. And I want you to help me. <clears throat> I will do all that of if I can, of course. I feel that, that he who stole my King's Bond may not be satisfied with mine alone. And this being so, we must stand together with our brother nations or lose all that is most dear to us. With this in mind, I mean to return Niall's forest to him. Indeed, I mean to return all that I stole. Word of my decision has been sent to Niall already, of course. Thank you. Really thank you so much, Master Pugnacious. Gold Pub will rise again and its people with it. I wish you good fortune in your quest, friends. All right. Mr. Swaggins Chewy said, what's a good anime to watch for someone who has never watched one in his life? I have no... You're asking the wrong person. I've barely watched any. <laughs> I've barely watched any anime, so I could not answer that. You have to ask someone who knows about modern anime to give you a better answer there. Oh, I have to go talk to Niall, so... Sunny Patch Pond. All right. Crevins. Beauties. Bonnie, we beauties. I got my forest back. It's all thanks to yourselves. You can have all the trees you want. Knock yourselves out. Thank you. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. Wait, Niall, Pugnacious had this King's Bond stolen by a creepy, snake-headed weirdo. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Jinx. Stolen Jinx? This Kingmaker must be tearing the place to pieces. Oi. We, it wanted to, sure enough, but we taught it a little lesson it won't forget. Go pause safe for now. <clears throat> King's Bond still has no mean feat, though. He didn't happen to be infusing things with an awful, filthy thug, did he? Uh, yes, Mr. Swaggins, I saw Full Metal Alchemist. If you're going to watch that, watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Not the original. The original series went off the rails halfway through so badly they remade it to be more true to the manga. So you want to see Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <clears throat> A sort of purple aura. That'll be the horned one's doing. The horned one? The old kingmaker of a place called Allegoria, a nasty piece of work, and no mistake for someone to be using the beastie's powers would have to be right. mean. I can't see it being anyone but Dolorin, who is the king that shared a bond with the creature. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we just need to go to this Allegoria place and get the bond back, right? You have a job doing that, I'm afraid. Allegoria hasn't existed for 2,000 or more years. It disappeared along with the land on which it stood. Huh. Golly. So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for centuries? Ah. What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Whatever he is, I'd say he's looking to pinch people's king's bonds in order to try to bring the horn one back somehow. If he does that, the whole world will be filled with purple fog, for you could say we're doomed. Hmm. So Pagnitius was right, he'll be trying to steal more king's bonds. What are you looking at? Like me? What are you looking at that for me? Ugh, fuck. We mustn't let him succeed. We can't let him bring back the horned one. We sure can, but if we're going to stop him, we need the strength of the entire kingdom. A kingdom we haven't even started building yet. Now let's get to work, shall we? Time to get building, me hearties. Sounds like a plan, right enough. I'd best come with you. You'll be needing my help. Really? Speaking of which, things will be getting underway by now, I reckon. <clears throat> okay. Look. Ah, uh, he smells a smell on the wind. Nice. Had a progress. Seems the magey dolls got tired of twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> Very nice. Oh my! Where did all those people come from? I see sky pirates, greenlings, even a few people from Ding Dong Dell. They must all want to be citizens of our amazing new kingdom. They must be. They must write enough. 
How did these swabs even know to come a knocking? <laughs> you really think for that? I didn't expect so many to turn up so soon, to be honest. I put the word out on the street. A wee thank you for getting the old forest back. That's more than we could have hoped for. Think nothing of it. I only I ask only a teensy weensiest of favors in return that you make me your minister of finance. <clears throat> There's none can pitch a penny like I can. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. If Niall's the Minister of Finance, I guess that makes Batu the Minister of Defense. <laughs> the swamp in charge of fighting? I like the sound of that. All you guys says, which is the best Lord of the Rings movie, Hobbit not included? Oh, Return of the King, of course. The best one. Everything concludes a big epic battle at the end. It's sweet. I guess I can be your advisor. I have a little experience running a country. I'm sure I can help out here and there. You'll be my chief consul. I'm no politician. I shan't need your help. I shan't need your help. It's very kind of you. I don't know if I'll be... <clears throat> it's the king's job to appoint his ministers, and I hereby appoint you a chief consul. <laughs> well, all right then. Chief consul it is. My royal appointment. Thank you. No problem. Happy to see you finally taking the lead. I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure if I'll be up to the job, but I have to try. Thanks to all of you, I finally feel ready to. I'll try my best for your sakes and for mine. Oh ho! Flip, man, I almost forgot. We're building a kingdom. We need a properly tidy name. We need a proper tidy name to make things official. I've been d doing some thinking about that. Oh, great! I have to name it. I've decided to call our kingdom Asholia. Evermore. Well. The secret of Evermore. What do you think? Oh my God! I can't believe it. It all ties together. All the classic RPGs are tying together. Evermore, huh? I like it. Did you ever come up with that? Your, did you come up with that yourself? No, it's from an ancient story, the story of a great kingdom whose people were so happy that they wished wish it to last forever. Huh. Fitching. All right, Mr. King, you have named our country. Time to address your adoring citizens. The. <laughs> 